Today we're checking out episode 12 of season 3 of Classroom of the Elite. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel so you can check out more of these reactions. You can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you can find a few links down in the description, like the link to my second channel where I react to non-anime content, just in case you're interested in that type of stuff. If you're not, that's fine. It's not for you. And you'll find another link to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash joefreshest, where I do reactions to seasonal anime live on stream with my community that's talking right now. That's pretty fucking uneventful. Uh, yeah, Twitch, there's, they're just messing with me. They're, they don't want to spam chat, but they're there, I promise. Oh, he graduating. Oh, no. So graduating class A is just means you're better than the people that graduated class B or C or D. That's all that really means, right? It's crazy that through like, what, 37 episodes? We're going through like 13 volumes in 37 episodes? What? Oh, because they lost? Oh. So D beat B and C lost to A. So yeah, that makes sense. Damn. Oh, it was rigged. True, 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 true. It was rigged. Are they on 2D or still 1D? They will be 2D. Ironically, they are 2D and they will be 2D. So she shouldn't even be a captain. I think that that's, that's, hmm. Very interesting. I would say that she's more like a Hira, Hirata than she is an, an Ayana Koji or a Ryuin or a Saki Yanagi, you know? I'm gonna fucking die going against Albert. So Ryuin would be in 2B next year? No, 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 no. I think that they just leapt up to C again, right? I'm pretty sure. They're just, they're just C now. <laughs> Yo, how do we swap Horikita and, and Ichinose? Yeah, you and Horikita would like to dissolve her alliance. Our boy likes having his pieces. I don't think he's dissolving shit. Ayana Koji will keep his dogs on the leash? Bro, he ain't keeping Hori Kids on no leash. She just fucking. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Next year will be genuine enemies. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Break her hand right now. Break her hand. Break her hand. They're too friendly. Too friendly for enemies. <laughs> Damn, he cheated on Horikita with Horikita. I know she mad. What ought you do? I'll do what I ought to do. Who's he talking to right now? Is he talking to the previous chairman so he would be talking to Saki Yanagi's father? Yes. Papa Yanagi? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that didn't happen. It's crazy. You came to our school hoping for a normal life. Nothing normal about this school. What do you mean? Why would you go to this school for a normal life? <laughs> what is going on here? Saki Yanagi's here too? 
Oh, so Su oh, so the new chairman's the actual villain right now. Oh shit, and he's telling the whole plan to them. Gave him a pay cut. What the fuck for breaking the rules? Because he had his student forfeit. Yo, this new chairman's a dickhead. He wanted somebody to get hurt. What an asshole. I wonder how smart is Ayana Koji's teacher. How much is she like Ayana Koji? Is she a fucking genius too? I don't remember anything from season one or two, so I can't speak on anything smart she's done in the past. But I feel like she could be something. Still feels like she's hiding part of herself. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I feel like she, I feel like she's, she got something. That's funny, dude. Wait, wait, wait. She's saying that if the chairman gets in the way of class A, she'll brutally slap him down. Bro, how many times does he need to fucking knock that cane away and drop her ass before she will fucking realize it's not happening? He literally just rigged the entire, the entire, oh wait, I forgot. We love Saki and Naki now. How dare he say that to Saki and Nagi? That is my favorite character. I cannot, how dare he? If he touches her, we're all gonna rally, right chat? We're gonna rally and we're gonna fight for her. Our favorite little, Lolly, that feels weird. Our favorite character. I don't like her. Well, I love her. She's my absolute favorite. And uh, she is so great. She's just the best. Yeah, you're not allowed not to like her. Okay, you're not allowed to. All right, you're not allowed to just dislike somebody for being smug. You know, you're not allowed to do it. So I, she's my favorite. I love her so much. She's the best. So great. Listen, do I recognize that she is intelligent? Yes, obviously, okay? Yes, I recognize that. Do I like how cocky she is? No. Like, for example, Koenji, right? Koenji does some cool shit, but also he's a fucking asshole because he doesn't help out because he's smug. So when, when Saki Anagi does something cool, that's cool. But also when she's acting smug, fuck her. And when Ayana Koji does the same thing, I'll feel the same way about him, except he doesn't really act smug, does he? Listen, here's the thing. Ayana Koji, when he's acting smug, this is how he does it. Just like this. He doesn't act smug, bro. What the fuck was that? What kind of Mushoku Tensei? What do you mean? Bro, what does Quagmire even mean? What the fuck? I thought it was like a fucking mud. Oh yeah, Yana Koji is truly a wait, 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 who is she saying is a is a is a, a Quagmire? The oh maybe she's saying the principal or the chairman or whatever. Not a Yana Koji. I think she means giggity. Everybody's giggiting in chat. She's saying it's a sticky situation. So later on, when we watch Gushing Over Magical Girls, are we going to be busting out some quagmires? <laughs> and she did show up at the graduation party, get wrecked. I don't like, by, by the way, for all the people that get mad at me about, about not liking uh, Saki and Agi, I'm not a big fan of Horikita either. The only one that I really like is K and Ichinose, because they're nice. I like them because they're nice. And I don't know anybody else's names. Yeah, I'm, I'm just over the tsundere. Like, I don't need this, like, prickliness. I'm just, I don't care about it. Horikita is the best character development in the entire novel. Well, it's not entirely surprising. She goes, like, she needs it. She needs to develop her character a lot. Because she thinks she's the shit, but she's just a fart. <laughs> but later on, she becomes a diarrhea. Use your special privilege as little sister. Oni-chan! 
What's the problem with it? It's anime. That's what she's supposed to do. She looks so robotic. Why is everybody... Yo, everybody's standing there like this. Big boom. Dude, having it out like that is like asking for somebody to drop something in it. It's very weird. Keep it close to the chest. Or keep that bitch covered up. Yeah, she's being a soon daddy, you know. Hmm. His face looks kind of funny right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Just look at uh, Ayana Koji's face looks a little funny. She might not be honest with herself. Interesting. She won't cut her hair? Oh, she cutting her hair! How's she gonna look? Bro, imagine she show like she shows up with a fucking with um what's the guy's name? Sato? Fucking buzz cut? That'd be wild. He's so weird. Female character development, cut hair. <laughs> Is that a thing? Sorry, bro. Couldn't get it done. Just kidding, she's right here! Stop being a bitch. Tell him. Ooh. Then shine! Oh my god, this made me... Oh。あやの子に記憶が消えたという記憶を刻まれた生徒たちは将来忘れることはないだろう。妹のことをお前には感謝している。ああ。その程度で終わる男じゃないことは理解できた。失望させてくれるな。あ、オッケー、オッケ
whole thing that her brother was. Wanted to be like him, wanted to follow in his footsteps. Idolized him in a way. You're going kind of low on that back with the hug, I'm just saying. No, I feel like what keeps this from feeling like a little weird is the fact that she didn't, not even one time, call him Oni-chan. If she would have called him Oni-chan... She wants to fuck him. But because she said Nissan, I think that it's, that was just a very wholesome sibling interaction. It's the Oni-chan. That's the thing. I don't know what it is, but when there's an Oni-chan in there, it's just like, ooh, something's going on here. A little bit more to it than, they, than they're letting on. But no, I feel like that was just a wholesome sibling interaction. I want to see how much you've grown by the end of your time at school. Show me how much you can grow for me. You know? That's what he said to her. Isn't Chan for younger siblings? No, typically the, um, the older sibling refers to the younger sibling by their name. So typically the, the older sibling refers to the younger sibling by name and the younger sibling refers to the older sibling as a sibling. Like, and it's th throwing the O at the beginning is more of like, uh, like um, a little more respect to it. So instead of saying Nissan, you say O Nissan. It's like a little bit more to it, which I'm a little surprised by. I guess it, it's a little less formal by her saying Nissan. And then obviously an honorific adds more to it. San, higher, more, more respect than Chan. Chan is a lot more like familiar with them. And then if you just drop honorifics altogether, it's something like Nini. Nee nee, that's like very, very, very like, just like super chill. And also, you're kind of babyish if you say that. Um, I look at characters that call their older brother Nini as very, like, childish characters, which means they're probably getting sexualized in the anime. Uh, that's just how it goes, though. Listen, a uh, good episode, okay? Good episode. Is there a different ED to this whole thing? I don't know. Oh, it's like a recap ED? Okay. Wait, isn't there another episode? Why is there a recap ED? Yo, who said that about, like, uh, female character development cuts hair? That's so fun. It's so true, though. That's <laughs> so, so common, dude. Same as with you, Joe. What you, are what you trying to say? What do you mean by that? It's not exclusive to girls. Oh, okay, cool. All right, cool. Hey, by the way, somebody asked if I skipped volume seven of uh, of the of the light novel. I have not read this series. I bought a bunch of the volumes cuz I like Classroom of the Elite and also everybody says that the anime is dog shit compared to the actual light novels. The reason I don't have volume 7 of it is because it's out of stock when I try to buy it. I don't actively seek out buying volumes of manga light novels. When I'm buying them, I will look and see like, is there a sale on this or that? Like I, I tr specifically try to buy on sale, right? And every time I've bought, I think I've bought Classroom of the Elite volumes three different times. Not once has there been volume seven. So I'm missing seven, 7.5, nine, and 11.5. Anyways, man, another good episode of Classroom of the Elite. I guess Hori Keats is gonna change, maybe be a little bit better. Now that her brother's gone, she's not gonna be like chasing after the ideal she has of him now that he's gone. She's gonna hopefully be her own person, be better, grow, learn from everything. The main enemy, I'm assuming, of season two will be the chairman. And obviously we'll probably get some, not season two, but you know what I mean, of year two. I'm assuming that we'll also have some guest appearances of villain being father, Ayana Koji Papa. I could see him being, uh, you know, a villain from time to time. Ichinose, now now the pact or the, the, the alliance, thank you, that's the word. Alliance between classes, I guess now D, not, no longer C, but D and B is done. And Ichinose, I like, I like I've said from the beginning, I just want Ichinose to leave class B, join our class. We have an open spot. I'm just saying, join our class. She is way more of a Harata, is that even his name? I don't know. Than she is an Ayana Koji. I don't know if their class has an Ayana Koji. 
our class, Loki got two Ayana Kojis because we got Ayana Koji. And then I think they're trying to make Horikita in Ayana Koji as well. You've got Ryuin who's kind of in Ayana Koji in a way, right? You've got um, class A with Saki Yanagi. She's in, in Ayana Koji. And I think that uh, Headphone Dent is low key a mix between an Ayana Koji and Ichinose. Cause he really cares about his class, but also he's smart. But yeah, Koenji kind of like Ayana Koji, mainly because he has the potential and just like Ayana Koji, he kind of does what he wants. The issue is Koenji doesn't want to do anything or participate in any capacity. Whereas Ayana Koji kinda does. He's like getting there. I don't know when Koenji's gonna get there, but yeah. So I guess I could see him also being a an Ayana Koji in a sense. He has the potential to be an Ayana Koji, right? I wanna see them continue to grow and I wanna see them move up, get up to class A. I'm sure that by the end of year two, they will be class B, you know? And hopefully Ichinose dips and joins our boy. What do you guys think about the episode? How do you feel about the way everything went down here? Our new opposition, the development for Horikita's character that seems to be coming. Cause her just cutting her hair and like saying like, that she recognizes these things and having that conversation with her brother, I wouldn't say is really much character development, but it is a, a hundred percent pointing to character development, right? Like it is, it is character development, but it's not like massive because it's just not enough time to show us the character development. But I think this is the first step in that development. She's finally on a new path to be better, to be maybe like her brother, but not like her brother, but like, but like, but like her brother, you know? Uh, in a way. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I just mean, when I say like her brother, she will also be smart and lead. Whereas in previous, she is not as confident and smart and lead because she manipulated by our boy. Can't wait for season four of Classroom of the Elite. I hope that PowerPoint goes strong. I hope Lurch does not own the rights to Classroom of the Elite going forward. I hope somebody else gets it. You know, a year two is supposed to be a bigger deal, right? It's supposed to be like, but much doper shit. what you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, YouTuber things, okay? Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.